My name is Josh Dunkley-Smith, I'm a rower. My name's Will, I'm in the men's four with Josh. Hi, my name's Josh Booth, I'm in the heavy men's Coxes four. My name's Alexander Hill, I'm a part of the men's four. The crew that we have at the moment has, has the three athletes who um, originate from Victoria. Alex Hill sometimes cops a bit of a battering from the others, uh, and it tends to revolve around the uh, AFL. Uh, mind you, uh, Alex's grandfather did play for Hawthorne, so he's a Hawthorne supporter, so that gets rid of a little bit of the uh, the stirring there. My first experience with rowing was uh, for me in year 10 and got a chance to come to a uh, trial day where you get on and do an erg and the coaches were there and I, I got on and sort of just um, did a 2k test erg, my first ever um, experience with rowing. I mean, the coach sort of came to me and said, what are you doing? And I said, oh, well, I did badminton last year. And he said, I think you better come down to the sheds. I first jumped in a boat when I was 13 at, um, at my school, Scotch College. There's a funny learn to row program there. They, they stick you out in this huge tub, single skull, this huge boat that you absolutely cannot capsize, but I found a way. I had made a lot of friends in the sport and really enjoyed it, had some success. I initially took some time off after school and, and I had a coach who kind of got me down, got me involved in one of the clubs and, and I kind of went from there. I was on the Yergo and the rowing coach happened to be there at the time. I think at the end of it I'd done like six cars on the Yergo and I'd beaten some of their, um, some of their guys out of the first day. So it was like, oh, like, hey mate, you know, you know, come and give us a crack. Rowing's one of the two sports I think that's been in every modern um, Olympics. Um, and we've of course, Australia has been part of every modern Olympics so it's sort of something that we've in this country had a long history of. It's probably the ultimate team sport in terms of, you know, you're trying to make us humans into basically basically robots that are perfectly synchronised to, to become a machine that pe propels a boat. And, and it's only with that perfect synchronisation of stroke and, and crew harmony that you achieve the ultimate, the, the, you know, boat speed that's competitive internationally. There's obviously a pretty pretty strong tradition in Cox's Fall. Uh, obviously the awesome foursome is our most successful tradition, I suppose. In 1992, a, a gold medal Olympic Games. 1996, a gold medal Olympic Games. In Sydney in 2000, we had a bronze medal in the four. 2008, we had a silver. 2012, we had a silver. But of course, we had uh, Drew and James Chapman in that boat together with uh, Josh Dunkley-Smith and, and Will Lockwood. And we have Josh and Will back now. They bring with them some of their experiences of that, that 2012 campaign. I used to have lots of cyclists do multiple VO2 max tests in a day and I remember first time I saw a, a 2000 metre erg test, they, this person rolled off the ergo in sheer pain and was rolling around on the ground and I couldn't believe it. It's an amazing physiology of these guys. Rowing is physically as a demanding a sport as there is out there. The 2K erg test for rowers and, and rowers will know it's one of the it's one of the things you really hate. Yeah, last year I was actually lucky enough um, to get the chance to um, get on and, and I did a really good job. Um, I pulled a 5.39. For VO2, he's up in seven and a half litres per minute, which is the equivalent of uh, the highest ever recorded in the world. He breathes over 240 litres of air per minute. And we sort of liken that to, he could fill a V8 fuel car tank um, in about 30 seconds. It's a nice thing to have, but in the, in the end, you've got to move the boat on the water and sometimes erg monsters don't really get a hold of the water that well, but I'm working on that. The ultimate success of a, of a boat is about how all members of that crew do gel together. I think even when you bring experiences on board is that, that real respect for what other people bring to the table and bring to the combination. There aren't really too many other sports where everyone in the team is tied together, is bolted to each other, and, and we really are. We, we're all velcroed into the shoes which are bolted into the boat, which are attached to the rest of the boat, and so when one person moves, you can feel that. Look, I get goosebumps now by just, yeah, by just feeling it. Rhythm is, that if, when you hit that sweet spot, you're out there on the water in the sun with three of your mates. It's kind of like the moment you first ride your bike, you know, and you feel like you're flying. Um, the, the concept of um, ease of movement, but absolutely expending yourself to the nth degree. There's no doubt that we're going to get our best return if, if the, everything is operating in unison. We're looking for trying to bring together combination to make that combination more and more bulletproof, more and more robust, that it can deal with the challenges that do present in racing or around racing. If it's sickness, if it's rough weather, if it's whatever it might be, that, that their minds are open to dealing with all of those challenges. I honestly believe that this is a crew that can go out there and, and win a gold medal in Rio. Um, we've got the perfect blend of 
rhythm and horsepower. 100% our goal is gold. You know, we've spoken about that. That's what we. That's what we want. Yeah, you never go in a race not wanting to win it. Yeah, yeah, and I, you know, truly believe we we can do that. We really put our nose to the grindstone um, to ensure that it doesn't come down to luck. It doesn't come down to someone jumping out and. Um, knocking us off. Uh, it just comes down to us delivering what we're capable of on the day and um, yeah, coming away with a victory hopefully. Look, it's, it's a really tough gig for them. If, no, if it was supposed to be easy then there'd be a lot more people out there putting their hands up to win Olympic gold medal. To a certain extent we're rolling the dice. We're going after the best result we possibly can and, uh, and see whether we can't you know, bring home you know, a first place.